This is not financial advice. I just tell you a bunch of them, Miss Baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in, because if they dip, you're not going to buy the dip. And then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me. And I'm not having that. So if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks to stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. But we got to talk about trading stock options. We got to talk about crypto. And we got to talk about the market in general somebody asked me not too long ago keenan you're telling me you're making money trading but the market is choppy now what are you doing well i got a confession to make family yesterday i lost 40 dollars on the trade today i lost 50 dollars on the trade what does that mean i lost about 90 dollars this week trading whoa 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 let's slow down let's rewind the week before that i might have made seven thousand the week before that i might have made three thousand what am I trying to tell you? I'm keeping my losses so small because they will happen. It's a part of the game that it'll only take one, maybe two trades to make that back times 10. I want to explain to you and show you that you could really trade to make money and it does not require millions of dollars or even hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands or even thousands of dollars to be able to trade and make money. Some of the trades that I jump into are worth $500, some of them are worth $30. You do not need to have millions and millions and millions of dollars or even tens of thousands or even thousands to be able to trade and bring in some extra income from trading appropriately and learning how to use a stop loss. That's why if you want to get the buy alerts and be up on the game and stop following all of these YouTubers and people on TikTok and people on Facebook and Twitter who don't really show you the game, they don't show you how to win, and they definitely won't show you how to lose. They disappear when they lose instead of being somebody like me who might make $7,000 one week, but then, oh man, it's choppy in the market right now. I lost $90 in two trades. Family, that's nothing. You know what time it is at KGU. I keep it real, I keep it raw, and I tell you how to win. And I also show you, if you're gonna lose, keep it small. If you want to buy alerts when I get in, get up and get out, I tell you, as soon as I do it, come and join KGU. The link for that is at the top of the description, but we gotta talk about the first banger on the list, which is DJT, which is Donald Trump Media Technology Company. Now it's a social media kind of company, and I ain't saying that you need to buy, hold, or sell, but this is one that we got on the radar, and it's currently $34. It did shoot up all the way to like $41. And I told y'all, do not load up between about 35 and about 55. And I actually got the receipts, family. Let me scroll through it real quick because you know we keep it real, we keep it raw. Look at this, hold up. On July 15th, it says that it was $41. But when we look at the Trident, that's where I would buy it, where I would wait, and then where I'll put a stop loss all together like a full complete plan family this is from july 14th where i told you about that and i said i wouldn't buy it between 35 and 55 that's where i would wait i would buy it between 25 and 34 preferably 25 so i can put my stop loss at 24 and if i did lose i would only lose one dollar per share that's that keeping my losses down so i could get back cashed up and be ready loaded up with cash when things come on down so i could really knock it out of the park and make a lot of money with those so i want to get into What's going on with Donald J. Trump's stock so that we can make some money using it? So according to Barron's, which is a well-known stock market information website, they said that the Donald J. Trump stock falls after Biden quits the presidential race. And a lot of people didn't expect Biden to drop out of it. So he's not gonna be the president next. He's dropping out in support of the current vice president. Now people are thinking, wait, Donald J. Trump stock should have just shot up, right? After you hear something like this, but in actuality, there's actually a real thing money wise that is holding it back. And anybody who's been in finance for any amount of time or paying attention knows you got to follow the money. So that's what I did with this. And let's follow the money. We can see that they're saying there's a Trump attack, massive short of 12 million Donald Trump shares DJT by Austin Private Wealth family what are they telling us what does this mean to break it down to simple english when you look into all of these numbers right here they're showing that there are hedge funds in large institutions that are betting against donald j trump's stock at an immense rate and flooding the market with this short interest that's a fancy way to say i'm betting against it on the stock market long story short though when things should be shooting up they have again allegedly supposedly hypothetically manipulation on the stock market that's stopping the natural movement of things so we want to see and think about how we're going to move forward i already showed you the trident 
So if that's what you was looking for on this family, I got you immediately. And if you appreciate that, hit the like and hit the subscribe and let me know in the comments what was the like number once you pressed it to show me some love and free support family because again it does more than you would even believe for the channel thank you for that now i want to get to the price targets and analysts they being so funny right because you think they weren't paying attention to it because it has analyst rating there's no data as if they don't have any clue as to where it can go but i just showed you that they have an idea and they're trying to force it down so they don't want to give you any price targets so then you think, oh yeah, they think it's going to 40. They think it's going to 50. They don't want you to think that. So then they won't give you any data on the short interest really, or on the price targets. You gotta just really make sure you pay attention to this game, family. It's a lot of snakes in the grass. Now let's look at the price to sales. This is the revenue, the money they bring in. Let's keep it simple. This is the industry comparison tool and the industry has a ratio of six. This one is all the way up over a thousand, over 1500, meaning it's way out of range of what is acceptable for a company this size to be bringing in like any amount of money really so seeing this it's out of range that makes it a trade that makes it a trade a quick trade a get in get up get out not a long-term stock even though it could potentially graduate there but currently it's not and then you look at the money they get to keep because this is just the revenue what you're bringing in the money you get to keep that's looked at with the pe ratio so we look at the price to earnings ratio the other one was price to sales and it says that they're making a loss they should have a ratio of 27 but they're way out of range because they're not even keeping any money. They're actually using it. It could be on research development. It could be on different things to build up the social media platform, truth, social, or whatever Donald Trump got going on with this company. But when we see that they're not keeping any money and the money they're bringing in is not as much as it should be, we can understand that this is a stock to trade. Meaning you gotta have a set timeline that you wanna be in it, maybe two weeks, a month or whatever with the well-defined stop loss. What number would this fall to that would kick me out of it? What number would I get in? When I show you the Tridents, I want you to think about all of your trades like that. At what point would I not buy it? At what point would I buy it? And then at what point would I put a stop loss? When you start implementing these things that I'm giving you the game for on YouTube, you're gonna watch your trading success just turn all the way up. And that's what I wanna offer you. So now let's look at the forward PE, meaning do they plan on making any money in the future or are they still gonna be at zero making losses? And it's saying that forward PE, the current PE is nothing. The four PE is nothing. They don't even plan on bringing in any earnings in the near future. So this solidifies that this is a trade stock. And like I said to you before, I would wait for it in this zone. I would buy it in this one and I'll put a stop loss in this one. You can take a screenshot of that. I preferably buy it at 25 for a quick trade. And if you see it run up to 41, like it did before, be cautious that's in the wait zone. But now we know there's a ceiling up there at about 41. So 42. That means that we off to the race is very likely. Nobody got a crystal ball, but we trade with the chart and not with our heart. Hit the like and the subscribe. Come and join KGU if you want to be up on the buy alerts and be in on the live trading sessions where you as a beginner or as a pro investor can see how we really do it live. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll put the link for that for KGU. It's a Patreon link in the top of the description. Take care.